Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CBSBaltimore.com. Welcome back to CBSBaltimore.com. Tori Smith, <laughs> thank you so that. much for coming in. And Hello. you know Lynn. That was, that was beautiful work you guys did together. Oh, we do all the profiles on TJ. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah, it's my every, favorite every, story. Everything about TJ, she has all the scoop. Basically. <laughs> yeah. TJ's sitting over there and he's negotiating for a birthday party. <laughs> What's going on behind the scenes is absolutely fantastic. He's negotiating for a birthday party. <laughs> wow. Listen, we, uh, uh, we uh, just taped the coffee with about the, uh, the, uh, the, basketball, the basketball game at Rofo. Mm -hmm. On April the second, let's just run that down real quick in case somebody has logged on before April the second. Um, it's your how many times have you done this? This is our fifth yeah. time. Fifth yeah. time, yeah. It's crazy because we did it every year, even during the lockout. But last year we took a break because of all the changes and dealing with the newborn baby. Like, I mean, obviously I didn't wasn't really expecting the big move, you know, out west. So. We had to sit back, and it was kind of a blessing in disguise for us, you know, having to miss out on it last year because we were able to really focus, do some research on what we wanted to do in the community to make a bigger impact and be more efficient in what we were doing. And having that time to relax, we realized, hey, this game needs to be in Baltimore. It's moved from Virginia, where I'm from, to the University of Maryland, where I went to school, mm -hmm. and obviously where I started my professional career here in Baltimore. And this is where we wanted to stay because the majority of our community efforts are right here in the city. And you have the opportunity to have, you know, the kids come out who we are trying to help um, come to the city and just have everyone involved. You know, everyone make sure they feel involved and, you know, helping. Okay, so if you're, once again, if you're logged on, that's the interesting thing about doing these, these WebEx. You can be up for months. Somebody can be watching this in June. <laughs> but if you're logged on before April the 2nd, tickets are general seating, $15. Floor seats, box seats, if you will, 25. Mm -hmm. Courtside, 75. If you go to torysmith.org, you can donate tickets. Yeah. There's a, it's a, here it is, there's a, it's a beautifully easy website to navigate through, but you can, you can become a donor. You can donate tickets and you can even, you can go, you can donate, you can have it your way. Okay. It's all about giving back, however you want to do it. So we urge you to uh, check out the website and uh, participate. Hey, listen, I want to do the web extra and talk about you, you, you made such commitment with Stephen Colbert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Run it down to the folks that don't know. Oh, yeah, it's called, um, my wife and I donated um, to an organization called Donor Shoes. And what they do is teachers all over the country um, can fund a project. So, for example, um, Chanel was a teacher. So if Chanel wanted to have extra chairs or she needed extra books or a certain type of curriculum she wanted, she can request it. And donors from all over the country, if you donate to this organization, can help make that you know dream come into a reality. So um, we d we donated and partnered up with them to make sure that we can make sure East Baltimore is okay financially. We made a big donation there, and Carmelo Anthony actually sponsored West Baltimore. So, wow. Um, it, it's pretty cool, and we understand completely. Like um, teachers are very underpaid, and what they spend out of their own money to make sure that their students are okay it adds up to over a billion dollars a year mm. between all the teachers so, so yeah we can kind of give them a break um they say the average teacher spends five hundred dollars out of their own money to make sure that their students have the supplies they need and um chanel when she was teaching at dogwood spent way more than that mm. <laughs> so um we have a lot of respect for what teachers are doing and the requests they need and it doesn't matter where you're from you should be able to have access to the best supplies and it helps make that a reality. Donorschoose.org mm -hmm. and you were on the late show with a bunch of other celebrities yeah. and athletes who all funded all these projects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, great time. Um, great people. Um, and it's just to be a, a small piece of it and know that we were able to represent again East Baltimore and that was just the start, you know, to try to keep it going and keep building and I mean I think it says a 14 million in the first Day, That's crazy. You know, uh, the announcement. That's so, unbelievable. Yeah, it was, mm -hmm. it was pretty cool. And every, a lot of people have been behind it, so it's an awesome. Donors choose dot org. org. Mm -hmm. Dot org. Yeah. Mm -hmm. do dot com. I'm on a dot com thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is, there it is right there. This is really. Yeah, you can search by your city really or whatever location. Cool. No, that's not it. No. That's not <laughs> it. Donors with an O, not an E. D O N O R. Really? Yes. <laughs> you know, it, you know, it, it was great when I w when 
You, you just, you, oh, you just shoot an elbow means it, Marty, you can't spell. <laughs> hey, um, we all have iPhones and <laughs> smartphones, so I'm not judging Yoko over here. <laughs> Hold on, take two and That's three, two, it. one. There we yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> yes, That's more it. class Marty from Bill Bill. Bill. There you go. <laughs> now I know what it feels like, fourth and eight. <laughs> oh, okay, we got that first now. That's really neat. Support a classroom, build a future. Nice. That really honestly is nice. But, you know, uh, it, this comes from deep within you as a family. Mm -hmm. Look, any, anybody who's a highly paid, highly compensated employee, I don't care if it's pro football, I don't care if it's TV, I don't care if it's working in insurance. Your accountant will say, you got to give, keep the government out of your pocket, you got to get rid of this much money. But you guys go so far above and beyond anything a financial advisor would tell you to do because it comes from here. Mm -hmm. What's the motivation? I mean, just knowing that I wouldn't be where I was today if it wasn't for someone lending a helping hand and understanding that, you know, their parents out here that work their tails off. Um, sometimes it's tough to make ends meet. It doesn't mean they're being neglectful with their money, but it's just hard to make things work. So we want to try to do as much as we can, you know, to take a load off of them. and it, we feel like no matter where you're from, that shouldn't determine, you know, what type of education you can receive. There's only certain things you can control as a kid. They can't, can't control how much their mother's making. They can't control their neighborhood. They can't even control the school they live in. But if we can have the opportunity to help enhance that, you know, especially in a city where, you know, there's, there's issues in certain places, you know, that's, that's our obligation. And, 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 it, and it's Baltimore, Maryland. Mm -hmm. It really, I mean, and that, see, that's a beautiful thing. Um, you, you know, look, we know what you're, you're, you're playing for the 49ers. And you even mentioned on call with it, sometimes a player will have his time in City A, goes to City C, and then integrates into City C. But you, you, home is where your heart is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, I mean, the reality of it is, no matter where we are, I don't know how my career will go, we'll always try to make an impact in whatever city we're in. But it, Baltimore is home for us now. I mean, when I'm done playing, You'll see me around here all the time. You know, we're going to be living locally around here somewhere. And, um, I mean, it's, it's home. I mean, and you take care of home. So we're, we're excited about it. Like, our commitment isn't for today. You know, it's long term. That's so cool. <laughs> TJ comes with you on a lot of these classroom oh, visits. TJ comes everywhere. He's right? always, yeah, <laughs> reading it to the kids mm -hmm. and stuff. <laughs> yeah, TJ's everywhere. He's sitting over there chilling out. <laughs> he's so cute. And I think he's still negotiating this birthday. I know. He's turning two soon, and you have a baby mm -hmm. on the way. Yeah, he's turning two. Um, another boy on the way. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a lot going on. <laughs> another boy on the way? I, I did, I, I did yes, not know. Yes, another boy. Yeah, another Marshall boy. Talk. Congratulations. <laughs> that, is, that is really cool. Yeah. You know, soon you're going to be in kids' sport hell. No. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, <laughs> if, if he's if he's any sign of it, all he wants to he's do. He's really good. Yeah, he has a you great You post balance. Instagram videos all the time. Oh yeah, he's very. It's crazy. He's very yeah, athletic. He he's very bow legged too. But <laughs> yeah. but you, I've athletic. seen him playing baseball, basketball, mm -hmm. soccer. He's soccer. really good. Yeah. He's but but you know what it boils down to is, see, when we were all kids playing rec council ball or whatnot, you never you, you never saw the big picture. All of a sudden, it's like, okay, he's got a game here. He's got a game here. Mm. Um, you're going to go to that one. I'll go to this one. <laughs> and then we're going to meet for lunch. And then for his second game over here, <laughs> uh, you'll go. And his second and third game, I'll go. But we'll all try and get together for he the can third. Come, over. come on up here. Come bro. on, TJ. Come on. Yeah, that, that's, that's what I meant by kids' sport help. It's one, <laughs> I call it ple really pledging parenthood. Yeah. Come on up, dude. Come on up here, my brother. He's <laughs> changing his mind. He's no, he's not changing no, his mind. On. He's just chilling out. That's going to be a lot of fun. It really is. Come on up here. I can't hey, wait, hey, dude. What's up? Come on up, man. The yeah, thing I'm probably most proud of is that he has a great balance. Like he's he you can as much as he likes playing with balls, like basketball, football, soccer, whatever it may be. Like you'll find him reading a book. Like this oh, morning, yeah. he was reading to the dog. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> he's trying to figure things out. Like he can't actually read, but he'll like <laughs> he'll point out what he sees in the mm -hmm. book and. Um, you know, we read to him a lot. Chanel does a great job with them. So. You know what? You know what somebody once told me before we had our first child, Savannah, that you could read Time magazine to a, a child as long as you get the inflection right. Here, I'm gonna give you an example. Here's the format of the show. This is gonna make no sense to any human being unless you're in this business. Segment, <laughs> but watch this. Double box interview. Two box Lynn throws the weather. Isn't that so cool? I mean, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is get the inflection right. Hey, listen, this was a, the sports geek in me for a second. Can we talk? Uh, uh, you know, everybody uh, uh, kept up with you in the 49ers. How are the Niners looking this year? Um, 
I hope better. I mean, there's nowhere to go but up. We had a rough one this year, but I mean, trust what they'll be able to do over there. Um, a lot of big changes are going to be happening. Um, new coach. So um, I think, you know, we played more consistent. I think we'd have been fine. We just didn't close out games, and and that can change from one year to the next. So I'm, hope, I'm hoping there's a big change this year. But as a pro athlete, you've got to be excited about the opportunity to take a franchise down on the clock and say, we're going all the way. We're mm -hmm. going to make this happen. Isn't that the greatest goal a pro athlete can have? Oh, definitely. I mean, that's what you work for. I mean, that's that's what your your goal is from day one. Like, it's, it's there's only one winner, you know, in the NFL and 31 losers every year because there's no bowl game. There's no NIT championship. Like, there's one winner. And that's what you're working for the entire time. And there's nothing like it. Obviously, I was spoiled here in Baltimore. When I first year, we went to the AFC championship. Next year, we win it all. And then we missed it, the playoffs. I'm like, wait, what is this? <laughs> like, mm. You know, this isn't the norm. So um, it makes you appreciate it once you've been there and, uh, you know, understand what's left. Good fans out there? <laughs> TJ. <His hair. laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Good, good fans out there? Oh, uh, huge fan base. Um, it, it's different. Like, it, it's so big. You know, Baltimore is smaller and everyone <laughs> loves the Ravens. Raven stuff everywhere. You know what I mean? And when you go out there, it's like spread out all the way down the coast. It's, yeah. it's pretty cool to see. Cool uniform, old school. Yeah, old school. I mean, you gotta be honest, you put that helmet on the first time you look, so whoa. Yeah, that is old definitely. school. Yeah, it's definitely like a, you know, the first time I'm, I'm looking at my name on another color jersey yeah. and, you know, the helmet, just understand the tradition behind them. Like, man, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I, I had a great time, you know, besides losing and not really getting the ball too much. But, but, you, <laughs> but you know what? Every, but everybody, everybody was following. Everybody's still so proud of you. Yeah, we mm -hmm. still love you. Really so awesome. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay, now let's talk again. Um, here's the website, torysmith.org. Mm -hmm. Uh, and again, uh, if you're logging in before the second, you can donate tickets or the ticket and, and to purchase tickets before the second, you can go to uh, just you can show up at the box office and get them or go to worldfarms.com and uh, and and buy them. And it's a beautiful thing. And if it's after the second, you can find out how to get involved. There's mm -hmm. a button there that says get involved with Tory Smith Foundation. You're a man. Yeah. Nan's game, brother. <laughs> nice seeing y'all. Appreciate I mean, that. I sincerely. I really honestly. It's good to see you again. We got to do another one on TJ. And she had I know. Since birth. <laughs> I do yearly updates on him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, TJ. TJ. Good job, buddy. <laughs> well done. Birthday party. Big yeah. birthday Now we're going to have to hear that the whole time we <laughs> leave. <laughs> Wait, well, let me do it the right way. Big birthday party. <laughs> okay, all right, everybody. Thanks so much for stopping by. CBSBaltimore.com.